In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite looping pressures, a base rush defense that I absolutely love. It's a five-man pressure that has potential to be able to get in consistently against a blocked running back or a blocked tight end in Madden 22. And this comes to us out of the nickel 245 odd, uh, one of my favorite defenses in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you put on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of these important videos. And the nickel 245 odd, I think, can give you some of the greatest pressure concepts in Madden right now. So if you want to get my full nickel 245 odd defensive guide, I put an entire defensive guide out on this formation and it is available for just $15. For just $15, you'll be able to learn the entire 245 odd defense and I absolutely love the way that this defense works this year. Now that being said, let's jump into this video and like I said before, uh, if you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description, but today we're going to be going over a very special blitz out of the LB Cross 3 Show 2, one of my favorite plays in the the entire game. Now the way that we're going to work this blitzing concept is we are simply going to go ahead and spread our defensive line and then what I like to do from this is I like to actually pinch my linebackers. And if you take a look here, you notice that it's going to move Simmons uh, to the outside just a little bit. And so then from that point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and globally blitz uh, my linebacker. So the way that we do that um, is if we blitz our right outside linebacker, you're going to see that it's going to blitz Isaiah Simmons. So I'm going to hit our, uh, our right on the right directional pad, and then I'm going to flick my right joystick to the right. Now, once I do that, what I like to do from there is I like to go ahead and QB contain. And you're going to see that out of the 245 odd, it's very special in this that it's going to create this looping rush out of a contained blitz. From there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take Collins and I'm going to drop him into a zone of any any zone that I want. So for example, I'll man him up uh, against someone that might be a cover three beater or something of that nature. And then from there, I'm just going to take Thompson and I'm gonna put him right in this little A gap, just like this, and I'm gonna hold left trigger. And what you're gonna see is at the snap of the ball, we're gonna get somebody free. Most of the time, it's going to be the looping pressure through the A gap. Now, if you have any trouble with that looping pressure, just don't, don't, um, excuse me, uh, don't put that linebacker, don't pinch them. If you have any trouble with that looping rusher, then just don't pinch the linebackers and you'll be fine. I'll show you that real quick. You're gonna see here, I'm gonna do the exact same adjustments, except now I'm not gonna pinch the linebackers. And what you're gonna see is, as long as I sit kind of like right in here, hold left trigger and at the snap of the ball, you see we get super fast pressure off the edge. Now, one thing I will also say that is Another thing that you can do um, is you can pinch your linebackers. And then what you'll notice here is when I reset my linebackers, whoops, um, ah, dang, I messed it up. Never mind. Um, we'll show this again. So I'll just pinch them. And then I'll show you that pinch setup first. And then we'll go back over this in a second. But again, just hold left trigger right here, come down and around. And as you see, you get some, you get some pressure. You're either going to get the B gap the A gap or the edge pressure. Now, the other way that you can run this is like I said, where you just blitz, all you're gonna do is blitz that right of screen linebacker, QB contain, and then from there you can drop one of those middle linebackers into coverage. Now, when they block the running back, let me show you what's gonna happen here. And again, we're just gonna use this guy right down in here. And if they block the running back, oftentimes you're still gonna get this looping pressure off of the edge because the running back, this is just what I've noticed, and this formation will step up to try to block the looping pressure, which will leave a good opportunity for your pressure off of the right edge. So let me show you this one more time. Again, we're just going to set this pressure up just like so. And we're going to block the running back, snap the ball. And you're going to see here, this time the looping pressure comes completely free right through the A gap. So this is a really good blitz because it can, uh, it's a simple five man blitz, real simple to set up. There's really hardly any setup to it. But the beauty of this is what it can do when your opponent blocks your running back. Oftentimes you'll get at least, like I said, you'll get one person free. Every now and then they'll pick it up, especially if you run this over and over again in practice mode, you'll see that every now and then they'll pick it up. But for the most part, this is gonna come completely free against a blocked running back. Um, here, I'm not even gonna use or anybody. And you'll see there, that's how my looper got just picked up just slightly. But again, oftentimes this is gonna come completely free. Another thing that you can do with this is you don't have to use her that safety. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if I wanna use her Collins, 
I can. I'm just going to use him, drop into coverage. And as you see here, the looping pressure, that time, he, again, he's kind of getting picked up by that guard. But, but again, I will tell you that in game, it's a lot more consistent because you don't have the, um, the practice mode effect where if you run the blitz the same over and over again, it gives you these different you know, kind of differences. Another thing that you could do is you can kind of hold this guy right in here. Now this is a little bit better for the edge rush. You should get more consistent edge heat. As you can see, super fast edge heat if you do that. And it's really fast pressure. It really is. Now, uh, if you do that version that I just showed you where we hover in the, in the right side a gap, what you'll notice a lot of times is your looper will come through the middle. The problem is your edge rush will get a little bit more consistently picked up in that example. So that's just something that you have to understand about this blitz. Who you user is important. Um, let me show you one more time here. So again, there, there you see, there's that looper, uh, that edge rush that I was talking about uh, from that formation. So that's just something that you have to understand and have to keep in mind as you're building this defense. But by and far, I love this pressure. Um, let me show you one other advanced thing that you can do. Like I said, you could zone either linebacker. So if I want to zone Williams, I can zone Williams. And I'll show you here, uh, for the most part, this will be fairly consistent looping pressure uh, through the A-gap from Collins or you're going to get that edge rush. Now, if you do that, my one piece of advice that I would advise you is to go ahead and pinch your linebacker so that you can bring that linebacker off the left edge or off that right side A gap in a little bit. It's going to give him a little bit better of a chance to get that looping A gap pressure. That time the pressure didn't come in. It's definitely better, in my opinion, to the, odd, to the other side. Just because in this year's game, for whatever reason, this guy, he just doesn't get as good of pressure as the other A-gap looper. So, you know, again, that's just something to think about. But for the most part, this is truly one of my favorite blitzes in the game. I really like how simple it is. Easy to set up. Um, you know, it, it probably honestly is best if you use this guy and maybe come like right in here. And then as you see, your looper is going to have a pretty good chance at least either if he's not going to come completely free. I found that oftentimes he will certainly shed. Um, he's going to be very likely to shed in this year's game. So that's just something to think about. The other thing that you can do is if you want to run the three man version, you see that this four or the four man version is actually pretty good because then what that's going to allow us to do is Mabel on both sides of the field. So for example, we could do something to this extent right here. And now what you're going to see is we're going to Mabel coverage right off both sides of the field. Let me make sure. Let me reset the linebackers. Let's see if I can get the splits angle back. Ah, can't. Anyways, uh, we'll go over something else in just a second. But anyways, so it's just a super simple passive rush. It really is. It's a five-man pressure. If you want to show blitz, it'll bring this line. It'll bring this safety down. Uh, which might make it a little bit easier for you to click on him and user him um, if you're wanting to. Like I said, you know, you know, I would stand as close to the center as possible and just hold left trigger. And I found that if you do that, the blitz really, really comes in really, really quickly. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn the rest of the 245-odd defense and learn how to absolutely scream at your opponent consistently out of this package, there's a link in the description below. It's on sale for just $15. And like I said, it's going to teach you everything you need to know about how you will absolutely scream at your opponent whether they're running max protect whether they're not it gives you some of the best coverage schemes as well the other thing that i like about 245 odd is i think it gives you the best personnel in the game because you're able to get eight safeties on or eight secondary players on the field which we teach you how to do that in the defensive ebook